Um, wait, no, we're not. Yeah, we are. There it goes. Go for it. So I'm here. My name is Joshua Sisk. I got Dentorius with me. He's going to explain some of his game mechanics. Boom. I got a battlefield for you. And the battlefield starts with chess. Chess is a mindset of two different forces working against working together in order to solve a common problem or you know two common two problem you good two different mindsets to solve a common problem of who's in charge yeah so is one ever really in charge or is it a mutual shared agreement that they exchange hats exactly so we're looking at in my game we're looking at the vikings the Vikings, Norse gods, the Aesir and the Vanir, and how um, and how one plane you have spiritual pur purification in order to be able to contact those higher powers, and what happens when the when said power of the priestess or the prophet that speaks becomes con conflicted with military dogma. Okay, explain uh, military dogma to me because I'm a layman person. I'm American, remember that. Oh, uh, okay, so, um, yes, American and... Um, What's the military? The military dogma is more like the Mujahideen of the Arabic faith. Okay. If you follow, if whoever follows you into battle, give them a piece of what comes from that, that spoils war. Okay. And they're, now they're considered friends or retainers of your um, society. The field of battle that we're talking about in the game, it's... um programmable and an annotated shogi nefatal and chinese chess battles uh, along with classical chess battles and what happens is you you are constantly streaking the field and using the the movements in chess to corner your opponent into a a field of no non content and what I was doing with that was I was making sure that combat was still martial arts base so you have a rts an rts or real-time strategy element and a um first person turn-based style element that's, that's all i can think of right now though you got All right, so that yeah, 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 okay, okay. How is that uh, uh, game mechanics? You you basically are just lining up the objectives to the game. Yeah, that's what game mechanics are. I thought game mechanics were the functionality of the game. So you're you're just assuming that chess. It, you said like chess, okay? Is that correct? No, ch chess. Yeah, but your game. Yeah. Is like chess mechanics so you bypass that and then explained the uh functionality mm -hmm. of the ethics behind the game uh how one should be um traditional based in their spiritual quest on becoming a norse god is that correct no no okay no not becoming a norse god but uh taking the wisdom of life itself no okay all right so i you started out with norse and viking which i uh yes spiritual purification of 
an area in oneself in order to hear the voice or the words of reason from the other side and give that voice, give those, give what you learned from that to the people directly, you know, you're the middleman. Okay. And then what happens is in the in the game that I'm making, as the Asir and the Vanir fight each other mm-hmm. for control over the position of prophet and prophetess. Okay. Why? It's because at some point the prophet begins to manipulate the said king or queen of battle. So you have um, kind of like in uh, Game of Thrones, the, <laughs> the Lady of Fire. Yeah. Fire Lady, I forgot what her name is. But yeah. Oh, Hunger Games? No. Sorry. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. I've never seen it, so. Uh, All right, so all I know about Game of Thrones is that uh, the Red Wedding, you're supposed to prop out your camera and record your family, which is fucked up. And then you watch South Park to get the actual answer, which they're talking about PlayStation versus Xbox. (laughs) It was a Thanksgiving special. Three episodes, well worth the watch. This was before they started doing movie. Red Wedding... That's not even how you spell red. All right, so today is Thursday. What's today's date? Can we get a time date stamp? Uh, Today's Thursday, the 31st. 31st, and I got 10.06, and that is Central Time, CNT. Uh, We don't have a seconds count. Sorry, I'm not doing that much detail on this one. So uh, 10.31, what year is it? Case for the time travelers in the room. 2024. 2024. TX. So Texas. We don't mess with steers and queers. That's why we're trying to avoid this to make it to 2025, which is thank you. That is T-Y. Okay. Anyways. Um, now. Okay. Um, it sounds like an interesting game thus far. It, okay, can I can I tie everything? Since I've met you, you've gone from circles to squares now. All right, so you've got your base layout. Uh, the spiritual awakening is the circle stuff. It's the circle upon circle upon circle upon circle until you have a new border, and then you have subsets of circles, which is different realities of and uh, it radiates out in continual circles upon circles and circles, which we already know as the Big Bang, and then it just gets bigger and bigger as the solar system. So, very knowledgeable. Uh, problem is I have is you, you bring in all this historic uh, knowledge, and I think that's where people get turned off because my thing that I turn people off is math just because I use a shit ton of numbers doesn't mean I know math any better um, it's just that I have a basic subset of the concept I, with math how does what I'm trying to reach is how does history um, equate to math so that way we can have a bridge I know in math it's about protocols and procedures even though you may not understand it you identify what x plus y equals blah and you follow that step so if it's this big long thing and you can't figure it out you find the parts of it that you can and you work that out on the next step and then eventually you'll break it down to one final problem you either get it right or wrong but then you can show someone because you only have uh the letter uh the letter equals a number how does that equate to uh, 
history. How do that's where I have issues. I avoid history like the plague. This is my personal journey that I'm having issues with. I don't believe it's real. I believe it's a uh, a story told to gain power over the innocent that are in the now and understand imagination. Does any of that make sense? Okay. Um, other than my great, 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 the, I, I appreciate tradition immensely, you know, even though they may not have an actual explanation of reasons for the protocols. Like, why do we have rings on our fingers versus that beyond that? It was a, it was a praise to the gods showing respect. I'm like, you need a better, <laughs> um, uh, story or uh, definition for me to say I'm going to marry my wife. You know, if I'm in love with my wife, or you know, the idea of a, your your spiritual partner, if twin flame, whatever you want to call it, uh, we decide our reality. You know, it doesn't matter what history you tell me is right or wrong. If we feel in our hearts that this is for us, that's what it's going to be. So I guess I went into personal shit. So what's your game going to be like? Uh, your your board is there a board? No board, though it does follow board rules. Okay, so is it like, uh, is it a set landscape or is it dynamic with each choice? I'm trying to get in touch with Google. Google, all right. To use Google Maps as a way to for GIS to top up overlay. Overlay his game on top of the actual. So he's he's trying to fuck with people's heads. <laughs> Don't you see your house like right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to take that motherfucker down. That is now my property, bitch, in this game. <laughs> and we're going to learn. <laughs> so, but I get it. Um, and then um, if it's an educational... is. It's a turn, it's got to be every game is a turn based game, no matter, you know, whether it's simultaneous or not. The the base computer uh, ones and zeros is always a turn based game. So at this point, junction uh, player um, 69, obviously, and then 104 D2 because I'm there and then we'll do 81. So that's 10, 81. But those players turned on this this second mark. The next one, everyone else did. So it does a subdivision. It's just so quick that you don't realize it. And then you got your video car that processes like, I forget what, 14 billion um, calculations a second. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that's a frame rate of 100 and whatever, 44 now. Yeah, that's why you need a graphics card to play some of those. So you don't realize all this, but the problem is, is that as you're playing it, your subconscious may be picking up subtle counts of this. So, all right, I don't know, anything else? Mm. Life lesson number one, you're talking to yourself in the past five words again. Real quick, we're gonna make this game, I don't know. That's what that's what you just said. I put words into his mouth, and now he's looking at me like "fuck you." He's doing the jack off motion into my face and just spraying it. <laughs> I'm like, "No, okay, for three bucks." All right. for three bucks. And he's like, "What happened to the first one? First one's free, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I keep giving the first one free to everyone. No one's paying. <laughs> Apparently, I'm horrible <laughs> at this." <laughs> no, at that point, I, I just give him a good story. That's been uh, blessed to me, but being a 300 and some odd pound, wait, wait, what am I, 275. Oh God, it takes a while. And then I, I know I can be thinner, but then I lose muscle mass, but being a two, two, well, we'll just say 300, just to round it off. 300 pound man, sweaty, stinky, throwing his hand up on the highway. No one's going to pick him up. Face is red. He looks exhausted. No one pulls over except for the big old truck driver. Like, hey, you want to ride? 
get in the back. And then you find that there's a bunch of people sitting back there. And then they drive you to a warehouse. And I can't tell you what it's going to be like, except when you watch Ar- Archer. Find that episode. You'll understand what I'm saying. Basically almost every episode. Yeah, yeah. Shit goes down. No, there's one specific where he gets picked up. <laughs> And then he gets drove to a little, like, basement studio of all, like, bears and uh, just BDSM. And they have bats and shit. They're like, this is going down. (laughs) There's, like, huge dildos and stuff there. (laughs) Oh, God. Sorry, I remember that. My brain is turning off and on right now. It's like, boop, 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 boop. All right, love you. Bye.